ni in Angola the fighting between Savimba and Santos Angolans died they never came in okay let's so say the same is, is true with with the, Zimb the, the Zimbabwe the same is the same is true everywhere they have not come in right. they are only coming in Libya for two reasons one Libyan oil too. Libya has been investing in the in the West. Let's look more at now, Libya. Let's forget about the West a little bit. Let's look at Libya. What should be the way forward? How should it be dealt with? Leave, leave Gaddafi. Yeah, first and foremost, where was the Continue problem? Continue to reign you know, out you have, like, we have brown and three, green. We have regular elections in, in Kawempe. We have the ROC three elected. We have uh, we have the the ROC. We have a member of parliament. They have uh, they have elected they elect a mayor. Go and see how they look like. Go and see what is in Kawempe. What do you mean? Tell us. I mean, it's, it's a disaster. So what is a disaster? Well, the well, thing well. is less than even Islam. But we have money. So you have elections, you have democracy, you have death. You sleep with death. Then the other end, the leader is not elected, but uh, literally every citizen has got access to to, to house. It's actually a problem. I find Gaddafi much better than most of these uh, 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 leaders here who hold elections and and buy votes from very poor peasants, whom they don't give water, whom they don't give medicine, they don't give infrastructure, they don't give education. Let's look so, at, so you bomb everybody. Let's look at the West. You're saying it's a Western issue, but three African countries that sit on the Security Council voted in favor of this resolution. Who? Who? Three African countries. Which African country that voted? Are you talking about South Africa? Yes. Are those fellows free? What do you mean? You look at Zuma and his group and you think they are free. They are not. Well, let's, let's, let's try In any case, it was not even... Uh, it is the West that imposed an the policy on South, on South Africa. Well, it is the Gaddafis of this world that fought them. Now, later on, they turned the person, they had called the terrorists, they are now calling him a god. Mr. God. Liars! Yes. Liars! <laughs> What should have been done? Should the West stay away so African leaders go to uh, Tripoli, One, I think talk to their brother, the, the under a tent? The African Union must have been, should have been given a chance. That is first and foremost. Do they have the capacity? We've no, we've even record, if, even if, do they have the capacity of this kind of thing? Even if they have no capacity, they must be given a chance. One, for, in, for local solutions. Two, it is not the business of the West to police the world. That stopped. They are being uh, their brother's keeper. Well, they are being their brother's keeper, but how come the brother's keeper is selective and specific to areas where there is minerals? I disagree with the bombing because it beats the very purpose of saying that Gaddafi is bombing his people. I'm not looking so we are going to do, uh, we are also going to bomb and destroy persons' property? No, 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 no. no. Let's isolate the, the quality of their intervention, yes. with, with the, 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 the genuineness, the, uh, the objective. The, the objective. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at Rwanda, mm -hmm. a million people <clears throat> were slaughtered, over a million people, even yes. though the West likes to yes. say 800,000, over a million people mm -hmm. named one by one mm -hmm. were killed in Rwanda, mm -hmm. and the West was blamed for not intervening, they could have intervened. And pro because also, Rwanda has no minerals that they have interest in. Rwanda, I told you, well, the West policy is correct, about they are profit. Their mistakes. It's about profit. Yeah, but, but if the West had not given profit. its cover, would you have had that invasion? Mm. It's about profit. If, if the West had not given its cover, would you have had an invasion? And two, you would also one. find that a lot of these things that go on, so long as there is a change of guard what do you that mean? seems yeah. to support the if West. If there was no RPF invasion, would you have had that massacre? Mr. Manja, let's stick to Libya. Let's Chief, not talk no, about it. I mean, why, you are, why are you running off from it? I like us to if, if, if there was no invasion from Uganda, yes. from across Kavari in and in Tungamo, would you have had that massacre in Sigari? Mr. Manja, let's talk about Libya. Uh, do you think, what, what could have happened if the West had not well, I think I think the, the West... Well, as, as uh, my friend has put it, uh, they, they are trying to police the world. Yes. But not, they are not doing it the right way. If they want to do that, they have to guard against selective action. Yes. Gaddafi is to come up in Africa. Right. They should, they should have agitated earlier yes. that Gaddafi should reform. Right. But he we refused. Did with him. He, he, he refused to reform. You, you know, you you pamper him. You go out with him. Then when he turns against his people, then you come up. And actually, I think you are. I saw Obama. I, I saw Obama. I saw Obama. He should have done. Chicken with yes. him. What they should have done is first of all to agitate for reforms across Africa. Across Africa. And they are genuine reforms. In fact, they would be credible. In you know, they would make incredible intervention. Right. If they had asked. Gaddafi, that you know what, this is how the world should move. Right. We should, I, I think we, we, we would do real reason to that. Well, but in Cuba, Fidel Castro at their doorstep ruled for 49 years. Well, 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 because, because maybe Fidel Castro is so strong for them, they can't really go and, and do this or the other with him. But if we come back to uh, Gaddafi, really, I think 
all that problem is a creation of the West. Yes. That when their interests are catered for in these countries, they, they, you know, they keep the. They are, they, 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 are, they, they, turn, they turn the other way. Yeah, they turn the other way. Look at Mobutu. And these things continue. When they go bad, then they come up. What they should have done is what they did to Bashir in Sudan. Yes. You know, Bashir was there going, uh, taking the, how they call those militias? Uh, the Janja the the right. killing people. And what, do you know what he, they did? Is to take him to the Hague. Right. And uh, a warrant of arrest was issued. Mm -hmm. Now, they were, they were on that the, for Gaddafi as well. Yeah, yeah they should have done that. Mm. And then Gaddafi, you know, is on his toes. He can't do anything. He's you know, he becomes conscious about what is happening around him. Right. And he will not do what he's doing. But my, Secondly, my, let's be honest. Mm. You, have, you have an uprising that takes over three quarters of the country. And in that uprising, you have lost 2,000. You call it too big? Let's look at, uh, well, let's look at, okay, well, so it depends to the way, you know, wh when you kill before the Camelas, it becomes big. Different. Well, but uh, well, you, you were talking earlier about uh, DR Congo. I know that two, over two million people were killed in DR Congo. Yeah. Because, because, right, because countries went there and fought. Let's move but forward because this bit. didn't happen before the Camelas. It did, but it did. Okay, let's move, let's yes, move forward a little bit. Yeah. Charles, Gaddafi has given a million, uh, he's supposed to be arming a million people, uh, whether in reality or in words, he's arming a million people. Where is this going to end? It, what, what, is, what I won't have in, in Libya is a military stalemate. Yes. Yes, because you, you do, the rebels, the so-called rebels are not that organized to go, and take over the, to go and take on the population in the West. Because we are talking about the crash, yeah, yes. we are talking about the crash of tribes. Right. The other end, we have two tribes, one tribe against the Gaddafi's tribe. Right. Now, the moment you kill Gaddafi or or disable his military, then he, but he has harmed, he has armed uh, civilians, he has he has militias. They are now when you have a crash between two tribes with small arms. So the ground, at the end of the day, the you have the, the Somalia situation because Somalia had been we had been stabilized by the Islamic courts. Right. And uh, when uh, Ethiopia rolled in, destroyed the Islamic courts, and you had the rise of of the of the the, the, the youth. Right. They are Shabab. Al now now we have a crisis. Uganda had to go in and stabilize them, but even controlling not more than half of the, of the very capital small state, population of the capital state. So you are going to have a very small section. Now the problem is that you have problems of food distribution in in in, in Libya. Right. Yeah. They, they, they have been relying on imported food. Yeah. It's a desert. The, the the oil wells have been destroyed. They are they are under Some a navy. Them, not, 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 not most not. of them really. Most of them really. You, then they are under navy brocade. Yes. Yes. So so it's a bit a bit of a problem. And and you know there are also Muslims. And the thing is taking uh, uh, that direction. Well, so, Qatar is part of the nine countries that are attacking. Forget Hitting about Libya. those. Forget about those. Uh, them, them. Those, those who speak English are doing that. Now, you say you have problems of even distribution of food. Because who is going to distribute food to, to the West? It can't be done by these fellows from Benghazi. Who is going to distribute food to who? To, to the West. The, that, that part of, of, uh, Libya. of Libya that has ah, the Western program, Libya. Western, the Western, 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 a problem and when there is no food people get more desperate restive. when people get more desperate and restive you really don't know what's coming uh, there will be uh, an internal massacre with that amount of arms people will turn on each other and it is bound to spill over and to the other religious issue that comes across in the northern uh, part of Africa is the war between the Sunni and the Shiite Muslims yes that is largely the divide that is taking place in most of these countries you find the divide take on these uh, intra religious uh, 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 um, uh, angles right. that are not healthy for the overall vision of the, the entire area. Right. Another issue that will spill over from such areas and actually come down to us, and I think we're already feeling the heat of this without actually talking about it, is the issue of oil prices. You have noted going that in Uganda, I think in the last uh, uh, two or three months alone, uh, the prices of fuel have risen. In, by in Italy, they are rationing. Yes, they were already rationing in Italy. They've risen here. I think diesel was about 2,300 about three months ago. 
mm. it is 29.50 today right. and that is a price increase of nearly 32 right. percent how that eventually impacts or spirals into the price of food into it's the price of production yeah, is, if you want if you want I mean, the war between it's, it's, Israel it's, it's, it's huge between Israel and Lebanon yeah. well, Israel bombarded huge. bombarded Hezbollah for almost two two months yes. Yes. but when they went on the ground they were beaten Yes. So they, 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 they tried it in, in Bosnia. Yes. They, 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 they impose an, an offline zone. Yeah, and they, they bombed that area. Mm. It didn't work. Mm. Yeah. They tried it in, in, in Iraq. They thought they had the, the, the more Saddam Hussein. Mm. Mm. And when they came on the ground, it was long different. Long it was different. able to beat the rubber. Urban warfare and so well, on. How is it going to end? One well, million people with guns. Uh, you know, <laughs> on the streets of people. I think the worst should. But could also be an exaggeration. The worst, well, the worst really well, should, 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 do, should learn from my experience. Yes. Whenever you create a power vacuum, yes. you are creating a situation like the one you have in Iraq, you are creating a situation like the Somalia. one you have in Somalia, and, Afghanistan. and in Afghanistan, yes. So what they are doing in Libya is going just to create that. It's going to create a vacuum. Because, as somebody has put it, the rebels are not organized. So if they are not organized, it means that they cannot occupy that vacuum. And whenever you create that vacuum it's in a dangerous. power play which is military, right. you are going to create a situation it's that's very bad. And, the worst is and, they, and, and I don't know. I don't know whether the West is going to take responsibility. No, they will move but away. They should take responsibility this time. This is Spectrum on Radio, and you can call in. We're looking at the Libyan crisis. Our telephone number. But where is, where is African Union? Zero four one four. Three four eight. Brother, brother, brother. One 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 zero three one two. They need to tighten their ties before they show up. Zero three one two two six zero three nine zero zero seven nine one nine zero nine nine zero nine. The only thing I don't like about Gaddafi is his bad fashion sense. Maybe someone could help him improve that. Spectrum. Hello. Hello. Yes, your name? I'm Christopher from Bazira. Chris. Yes, I think. Uh, yes, you're live on here, Christopher. Please go on. Discussing question intervention in Libya with uh, my students this evening. If when I introduce the students to the course, we usually interrogate the question on uh, international law is law, it is politics. So that interrogation, we make the conclusion that actually international law is not law, but it is international politics. And you know, this permeates through all uh, processes of international law, including. Uh, of international peace and security. But when you look at what is happening in Libya, it uh, raises the whole question of the West interested in democracy or is it interested in our stability? My uh, view is that usually the West is interested in stability, not uh, democracy as such. So as the elite may be, is able to maintain a certain uh, level of economic stability, then that leader won't be a cause of alarm, which is which explains why like, Gaddafi has been around for 42 years and nothing has been done about him. But as soon as the leader becomes the source of instability, and that's what happened to Gaddafi when the people rose up against him, then that uh, source of instability has to be got uh, rid of. I don't think much. When you look at the candidates, to me, if they are. If all right, your line, your line keeps uh, breaking, Mr. But we've got a guest, I think. Spectrum, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Your name? Uh, my name is Okello. Now I just want to. Can you switch off your radio, Mr. Okello? Yes, please. Is that better? Yeah, I, I just want to say that w one of the things we should notice is that, you know, while the West is going into Libya, or whether they have gone to Iraq or Somalia. Have you realized that they actually don't have any exit strategy that they talk of? They only talk about how they will come in. And this, this should be a lesson for the African and the African countries that actually the West is not interested in an organized system in Africa. I am not, I'm not so worried about uh, the leaders who stay long in Africa because in most cases anyway, they are the ones who have actually made some serious contributions to, to African leaders. And I want to look at the case of Uganda. Our president, I think, has, has made our lives much better. And, and, and even Libya, I think that has done something very good for his people. That's, that's, that's the other thing I want to talk about. And, 
And the other thing I want to say, uh, you are saying, what lessons do we learn from this? I think the African leaders have, should know that actually the West needs Africa as a block, not as an individual country. So they should have come up with one single statement to 